favorite Obinyal. But and for the lot of you who might be watching Nka for the very first time, Nka is an Igbo word that translates to art in English. So like just like the name implies, it's um, a program where we get to talk to people that practice or express art in their various, various forms, be it through music, movies, business, politics, food, comedy, however, however you choose to express art, we get to talk to people who are already doing well or people who aspire to you know, get to a certain level, you know, they get to talk to, to us about their journey, how they started, share their creativity with us, be vulnerable. And of course, they get to talk about some, some of the challenges that are peculiar to them and of course their industry at large, you know, we get to have all of these amazing, amazing conversations that, you know, we get to do some controversial things, play some games, you know, a lot of fun things happen on Nka. And tonight I have with me a very, very special guest as someone that I do not want you guys to miss for anything. But after the break, we get to meet the amazing personality that will be seated on the couch with me. Hey, welcome back to the program. You're still watching Nka on Afia TV, broadcasting live from the Coast City, DSTV 254, Go TV Channel 17. My name is Favor Obin Yaluba, and first of all, I want to apologize for that rather long break. We're having some logistics issues. And now, the amazing personality that has just joined me and is going to be seated on our Nka couch is Nka couch. That just <laughs> On our couch this fine evening on Nka is none other than Godor. How are you doing? I'm fine. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. This is the first person to ask me how I am. All of you are just saying I'm fine I'm here, and I'll be asking questions. So now, let's start from your name. Okay. My name is Wang Jamie Charles Emmanuel. So where did Godot come from? <laughs> Godot came from when I was in secondary school. Okay. So I got the name ever since then. I've been like keeping up to the name. What is the name? What does the name mean? You got the name, okay. how? Somebody just called you Godo and it just stuck. No, actually. Godo is just a short form of God of War because back then I used to engage in a lot of fights. Sure. <laughs> sorry to it's say. A, that. It's not. Why are you say that? Why are you sorry? No, no, no. We don't promote violence. No, but then it was your, it's your past now. It's your yeah, past. Your past. So that's, the, that's how the name came. So it'd be like a fighter <laughs> back yeah. then in secondary school. Yeah, so yes. God of War then just yeah, shutting it to God of yeah. and then you just the name just stuck and you just kept with it. Yeah, it's actually a cool name. It is a cool name. Yeah. It is a cool name. <laughs> but like obviously you're no longer violent. No, no, no. Don't no. to fight anymore. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm a man of peace and a yeah. man of love. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now when did you start to do music? Like there are two questions I usually ask when you start to do music professionally. That's like when you um obviously you know, put a record out, you know, start to go for shows, when you started to do music professionally. It's one thing, a lot of people can sing, but they are not professional musicians. Yeah, you're right. So, and um, when did you find out that you were musically inclined, that you could do music, you had that passion for it, it was something that you wanted to pursue? Okay. That was in 2018. But then I put out only a free star on YouTube. Okay. But after 2018, I, I was like, yeah, I need to put in more work and push myself out. So I kind of started working hard. Then I came back last year. Last year? Yeah, last year, October. I dropped a single titled 6kg. 6kg? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's my first yeah, that's where the 6kg yeah. comes from. So after then, I came out. I started pushing. Like, it's been good all this while. And it's been going well. So after after the first single, my EP, Locked in the Trap, it came out December 10th, last year. As well? Yeah. You put in a lot of work. For you to release a single in October and release an EP in December, like, that's, that's a lot of work that you put in. Yeah, it's a lot of work. All thanks to everyone supporting me, like, the love is massive from the streets. The that's streets. what actually... <laughs> <laughs> no that's what actually motivated me to put out the EP after the first single, because mm -hmm. I got a lot of engagement and something like that, so... Yeah. Oh, okay. So, but when you started to, so would we say that you started professionally last year? Yeah. 2018, so no, that no, time was just year. testing, testing. Yeah. But do, were you ever in choir, you know, did no, you, no, no, no. thank God, finally, if I, that doesn't, if I did happen. choir, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you did choir, it's good. No, 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 I did choir. <laughs> so, okay, for you, it was just, you, in 2018, how did it start for you? Like, how did you realize, oh, I can actually, so before, what was the journey 
to, um, before like releasing that freestyle on YouTube? Okay, then sometimes I'll be bored doing nothing because I was in I was in some red level then at a suit. Okay. So I actually I got out a, a book, a piece of paper and a pen. So I started writing some stuff down, and it actually kicked in. So I did the freestyle with my phone. I recorded it with my phone, then put it out on YouTube. That's it. So for you, it just came. You just. Yeah. It wasn't like you had to do any no no no, no extra whatever whatever no, no. it just came it's to just you. The, it just yeah. came wow that's really good so I usually like think that like people that find found out that they were musically inclined in secondary school and then get that secondary school fame and secondary school pushing so you didn't have any of that singing in secondary school you was fighting we were fighting <laughs> <laughs> no when I was in secondary school uh, we used to we used to like play some instrumental on the mm. table. Mm. Because I was in CIC then. So then I remember <laughs> Ellie Pie Pie. That was one of my favorite lines then back in secondary school. Yeah. So I can I can say that then I rap, but not not often. Mm. I mostly do fighting. <laughs> But then, so you say fighting was your was your main thing, but um, okay. rapping was your side hustle. Yeah, it was yeah. a side hustle. Then you sure. just used to freestyle with your guys. But then yeah. God of War was your main thing. <laughs> <laughs> so what what genre of music do you do? What's your genre of music? Are you I'm a piano? Are you Afro beat? Are you Afro fighting? <laughs> Afro cult? <laughs> What's your genre so, of music? Um, I'm a hip hop artist. Okay. Slow trap. Like it's what I represent. You give me this. Um, for me to say Jerick vibes or this rapping in Igbo, do you do that too? Yeah, that's that's actually what I do. Oh, is that what the slow trap? <laughs> no, slow you know, trap. You know, every day we bring just, different genres of music. We don't know the one that is which. We just no, enjoy all of them. Tipo, okay. Tipo, people rap. Oh. But inside the uh, slow trap, it the inside that uh, hip-hop. Mm. Yes. The inside. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense because in your hearing the way you sound, you sound like um a since you giving it the name it's not like a slow trapper yeah. and i always say that rap is like one of the hardest genres of music because you have to especially when you do you, do you rap in Igbo sometimes yeah of course i combine Igbo and english, english yeah. and i to me you guys are the big like the way i respect like jerry and um Cola boy and the likes so people that you know do all this indigenous Agoribank. music all Agoribanks yeah. banks and the likes i really respect them a lot because it takes a, it's one thing for you to rap in English and you know, but for you to be able to bring out the rhymes and the flows in Igbo language and, or indigenous language, it's a whole lot. What's your creative process like? Like, how do you because some people have different things they do to get in the zone? Some people have to maybe you know be high, some people have to get be heartbroken, some people have to consult their chi, some people have to sleep and wake up. So, for right. other people take it like. Like a job, like okay, eight to five, I must write something down. So, what's your creative process like? Well, my creative process is just what I go through. Okay. Like, I can just wake up in the morning now. Maybe my mood, I won't be in a happy mood, something like that. Mm. I'll just start writing. Maybe I'll start writing what happened like many years ago. <laughs> it's just about. Remembering what happened in the past, then putting it out. Putting pen to paper? Yes. Oh. Putting it out, some music, just to inspire the young ones and inspire those going through the same thing. Oh, so that's basically how your own style, just like yes. experiences and sharing experiences. Yes. You have a team that you work with? Of course. I work with my team, 6KG team. Oh, you call them 6KG team? Yes. Okay. So cause I ask this because I've noticed that here in Enugu, I don't want to say of other states, but here in Enugu, a lot of artists are independent artists in Enugu. You know, they're not signed to any record label, everybody's independent artist, or the people that are in their team are like their brothers and their friends or their sisters. You know, there's yeah. this there's this family thing. Are you an independent artist currently? Yes, I am. And it's, it's really crazy. Like, what's your... I know that you just started, and I don't know if any um, record labels have reached out to you, but I personally think that there's a shortage of record labels here in Enugu in the Southeast. I feel like there are not enough, people are not doing enough. But how are you able to um, get a team that you work with? Well, it's just my brothers and my friends. Mm. So basically, it's just family. Yeah, it's just, just family, family, just a family thing. 
there's no one left. There's no there's no sponsor from anywhere. It's just a family thing. Everybody's so being an together. independent artist, it means you have to work very hard. Like you have to work very very hard so that you can get the funds that you push yourself. With. And it, it's I think it's um it's a blessing. I would say it's a blessing. And the reason why I would say so is because. Um, I don't know if you know, but Ruga came out on Twitter, on X rather, and I was calling out his former record label or the record label that he started with Jones in World and talking about how they did not push him as much as he wanted to. So now it's a blessing in the sense that you, you get the finances. Obviously, if you had more finances, you'd be able to push yourself more and promote yourself. Yeah. But then the curse is that sometimes the way you want to be promoted, the shows you want to go to, you might want to go to a particular show thinking it'd be good for your brand. And then your record label is telling you, no, you won't do this. And you don't want to go to one thinking it might be bad for your brand. And, and the record um, label is pushing you to the other one. So I think it could be a blessing and it could be a curse. It's you a know? blessing, actually. Okay. Because once you're putting in hard work and and you're able to get like you're able to get funds for yourself it's a blessing because you know where you want to be and if you have the funds to push yourself to where you want to be because now say if you don't come get the funds <laughs> yes now they had the hard work yeah. no they because once there's hard work once there's hard work there will always be success what do you think about people that have to run like multiple how do i say this like for example, there are artists, like everybody knows some artists, but they get one or two things where they, they use, they push that thing. Are you that kind of person? Do you have to do any kind of job or any kind of skill to be able to get the funds? To, because funding is very important, though. Yeah. So how are you able to get this funding, at least even in your little ways, to be able to push yourself to where you are now? Well, as I guess, you open up with the Lego ball. Okay. So... With this little quote, now I know guys, <laughs> I know guys enter the. Mm -hmm. As far as I say, you get one or two way they do, way funds they come out. It can be anything. Anything legal. Anything like, yes, yeah. legal or illegal. As far as I say, funds they come. Right, right. Right is not here. My face is not here. <laughs> No, but yeah, I, I completely, no, fact, yeah, fact. I completely, I agree with. No, I don't completely, but I agree with you. You, know. <laughs> you have to be able to push money from whatever it is that is your work and then move it to your passion because at the end of the day, passion is expensive. Sure. But um, following your calculations, you said um, you were in 200 level in 2018. So I'm assuming that you're done with school now. Yeah, I'm a graduate. All right, well, graduate of? Electrical engineer. Are you serious? <laughs> wow, yeah, an engineer. Yeah. <laughs> but how are your parents, this is really juicy because how are your parents able to, how do your parents receive the news of you wanting to do music? One boy engineer now, which I mean music, like from where to where, how were they able to, did they accept it? How, what was your parents' reaction? Well, they don't have to accept it because mm. faith, <laughs> faith works in a lot of ways. Now I'm an independent artist. I'm not asking for any support. Mm -hmm. I'm the one pushing myself. So me telling my mom that, see, I'm into music. I don't even need to tell her. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even tell her. I'm like, now nah, she just to hear my song. <laughs> <laughs> so rest in peace to my dad. Mm -hmm. He passed away at 213. Mm -hmm. So it's just my mom and my brothers. Yeah. So for you, it was just, this is what I'm doing. And then she just, yeah. she just flowed with it like that. Yeah. But then as far as you're providing for, are you the first son? No, I'm the third son. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want to be tip, um, stereotypical and be like, oh, you don't have responsibility now. No, no, no. You know, the way, every, once his first son, but then you're the third son, so you already have two older brothers. So. But how were your brothers? How did they react to you wanting to do music? Okay. Well, my immediate elder brother, I remember back then, like, he told me that if music is really my thing, that I should just calm down, mm. that it will kick in, oh. that I don't have to, I don't have to, like, stress out. Or, yeah. And... Actually, the advice worked for me because it motivated me to like put in more work. Yeah. And yeah, I am now. I can proudly say that I'm an artist. Wow. Yes. That's really sweet. Really, <laughs> really, really, really sweet of your brothers. Yeah. But yeah, I think we'll go we'll take a, our first break right now. When we come back, we're going to continue to have this really, really sweet conversation with Godor, God of War. But formally, formally God of War, but now <laughs> just Godor. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 
Asia, welcome back to the program. You're still watching Nka on Afia TV. My name is Favor Obinyelba. And of course, I'm still here with Godor. And we've just been having a really amazing conversation about his journey, how he started, um, you know, how his family was able to support him, the support he got, you know, how he started professionally, and how he was formerly a, fight, formerly a fighter, but now he's a man of peace. Like if you hear the way he speaks, you know that this man is a man of peace. But before we continue our conversation, we are just going to look at some of Godot's pictures from, you know, from the years and see how well, how photogenic he has been. And I don't want anything to traumatize me today, please. So, Godot, please. I'm hoping that the pictures I see, because I'm, I'm also seeing them for the first time with you. I don't see them at all. So I'm hoping that I get to see fine pictures. I'm hoping you... Sure. I don't want to see anything that will traumatize me today. Not today. <laughs> Please. Oh, this one is fire. I was your creative director. <laughs> ah, that, that's nice. I don't, I don't know. That guy, they, oh. nah, I like this. Now, Honchu, Honchu. Now, Honchu snapped this picture. Honchu, you don't know. So you see that first one was good, but what is this? This one. I think it was the side. The side. The way, that angle was good, but this one is. I don't understand why you're putting this on your head. No, but it's just a fire picture. Yeah, it's just the content. Oh, this is Vai Manje? Yeah, Vai Manje. Okay. What year is this? Vai Manje looks really young. No, that was, that was this year. This year? Yeah. Ah. Okay. Who is this? Obedo. Oh, this is Obedo. Is he Obero or Obedo? Obedo Pierre. Obedo, Ob Obedo Pierre. <laughs> I cannot go bite my tongue. But yeah, I've heard of a bit of PF. Okay. She's scary. She's scary. Uh, when we look at these pictures, I'm going to ask you where this schedule originated from and what does it really mean? <laughs> oh, was this your first performance? Yeah. How was it like for you? Oh, uh, it was fun and amazing. You're not, you're not nervous? No. Well, really? Why? <laughs> <laughs> you never see stage, you never see crowd. What do you mean by why you go to any of us? Oshe? When I was recording one of the songs from my EP. From my EP. Oh, this yeah. is nice. Oh, this is nice too. Yeah, Pascali chat. <laughs> I have good, good pictures, so I, I didn't want to be traumatized, and I'm not traumatized. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, this picture is nice too. Yeah, I don't know. The person that takes your behind the scenes pictures, keep the person around. Sure. Ah, oh, I like this one. This is nice. This is my last, the last song I wrote. This is the cover for it. Yeah. Oh, it's really nice. Really, really nice. So now, you've been saying 6kg, 6kg. What is the inspiration behind 6kg? What does it mean? Uh, 6kg is just, is just a group name for everyone out there putting in work. So his work is six kg work. Yes, like any work, any work where they put in, where they carry from school, just know say it's six kg family, because it's all about making the money and supporting our family and friends. Okay. So that's it. That's that's literally the inspiration behind six kg. Yes. That's what it means. Yeah. I was going to think you were like, okay, the bands, the bands weigh six kg. No. So no. that's like I, I I would have argued that that's what it meant, but it's just. It's for the love of the streets. For the love of the streets. Yeah. What street did you grow up in? This streets you're saying the love of the street, the love of the street. You know, we shot sure people that they grew up in 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 the in the what would I put it? Bougie people, Tush estates. They're not coming and saying Ogbe, 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 Ogbe. No. But you grew up in GRE. No. Street. Street. It's no it's no a matter of where you grew up or where you're from. Street. The mentality, the mindset. Yeah, street is it's it's a mindset something. Not be where you grow up. If you day if you day estate or if you day inside trenches, as far as I say you get that mindset, you're still in the streets. Mm. Yes. But where did you grow up? I grew up in Anambra Streets. Where in Anambra Streets? Nee. Nee. Yes. It's Newy Streets. It's Newy Streets. Depending. Because <laughs> all the billionaires are there, so I don't know whether it's street enough. Yeah, it's or street, yeah. I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll sure. give it to you. So now, basically, let's talk about um, some of the challenges that you face. I know, obviously, funding is one of it. You know, yeah. being an independent artist and whatnot. But what are the other challenges that you faced, you know, or that you're currently facing even now as an artist? Uh, challenges go always come back. It, it depends on how you solve the challenges. Yeah. For me, I don't think there's much challenges for me because 
a few months, maybe like last month, I put out a song with the video. So like I'm still promoting it. It's going well for me. And I'm looking forward to keep pushing. So I'll just say there's no challenges for me. You don't see anything as challenges. No. I feel like it's not as if there are no challenges, it's just that you don't see it as a challenge. Yeah, I, I, don't, like I, don't, I don't see it as yeah. I see it as a motivation. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a really good way to look at life. Now let's let's talk about um because I've seen you, there are pictures that you have with Vibe Manje has been on Uncle Lounge. You know, he did a one hour special, and I know he has a new single out with Obedo PF. Yeah. I know, I, I think I saw their, their um, video on Instagram or whatnot. And so I know that there's brotherhood between you know you guys, you with Vibe Manje and you with Obedo PF and all of that. But how would you rate the brotherhood in the music industry here in Inugu? Especially amongst you um, young artists, or amongst you younger artists, I feel like a lot of people have said different things. People have been like, "Oh, there is this clique, you know, these people and this people. Once you see this person, you see this person. This person is just a clique. Everybody has their own clique." And then other people are like, "Both of us are still really young." I remember one person said, "Everybody's still young, but then you want me to pay eight hundred dollars for a for a for a feature, like from where to where? You want me to pay three hundred dollars for a feature? You know, so people are entitled. Other people are snobby. You know." It's different for different people, but what has been your own experience with like other young and coming artists, your colleagues in the industry? Well, you know, rap, being able to write some lines down that actually rhyme and make meanings, it's not easy. So when when you get charged for a verse, I can just tell you like go for it, because the verse that you're getting is actually worth it. Mm. It's not easy to write down some things and and say it out and express yourself and make melodies. Yes. So, but for this in this school sitting now, like this thing now, we artists we need to help ourselves yeah. more. We need to push ourselves more. Cause if we don't push ourselves, there won't be fame. Yeah, I agree. Especially because um, there's a lot of people that want to jack out to Lagos. Yeah. They feel like there's a bigger community in Lagos. In Lagos, you blow. In Lagos, you reach your dreams. Do I, feel, I don't know whether it's Nollywood. <laughs> because every time you watch Nollywood, when um, Okonkwa goes to Lagos, Okonkwa becomes a big man and all of that. I don't know whether it's Nollywood inspired. But what's your take on it? Do you also feel like Lagos is like only place you can blow? Or Lagos is the holy grail? Once you get to Lagos, yes, half of your problems are solved. Not really. It's not about going to Lagos. It's about what you they go do for Lagos. Mm. Some now nah, they will just go there. They won't be consistent enough to make it. They will stay like six months, then come back to him. Except fresh. Yes. I know some of some of some of the artists. I know some of them. So it's not about going to Lagos. For me now, I feel like you can be anywhere you are. In this Nigeria, you can go to Lagos from anywhere you are, do what you want to do, and go back to your base. As far as there's marketing around the country, it's not all about being in Lagos. From wherever you are, you just... Everybody, and I agree. Wherever you are, you can blend. I feel like what you said, as far as you, you're marketing yourself, you're branding yourself well, you can go to Lagos, come back, because yes. I feel like if you create a brand and a demand around yourself, around your talent... Lagos, abroad, everywhere is definitely going to call you. So, yeah. So, finally, not finally, Sha, but before we go on a break, I want to ask you, if you could collaborate with any artist of Southeast origin, could be as big as Fino, Flavor, but CK, but it's Igbo, any artist of Southeast origin, who would it be? Just one. From Southeast? Yes. Uh, I would say Agoro Banks. Agoro Banks? Yeah. Okay. Why I choose Agoro Banks? If you listen to his songs, it's inspiring. Yeah. And it's a real life it's a real life like real life something. And that's what I portray. Mm -hmm. So doing a song with him, I think it's go well. I feel like everybody's saying Aguero Banks, Aguero Banks, Aguero Banks and big ups to Aguero. He's definitely doing something right. So now um if you could collaborate with any Nigerian artist, who would it be? Rest in peace to move but I wanted to work with him. Boy, he passed away. It's okay. A minute silence. <laughs> <laughs> Which other artists would you want to collaborate with apart from Mobad? Okay. 
Oh, I'm looking forward to collaborate with Devoli. Devoli? Yeah. Hmm, he really good taste in music. Yeah, Devoli. I'm looking forward to collaborate with him. Okay, so, but what um foreign artists will he be? International artists? International artists. I'm going to do that first. But no, anyone. International <laughs> artists. Hello, <Little> dog. <laughs> I just knew you'd be one of those little people. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. We'll go on another break. When we return, we are going to be doing my favorite segment of Umka. I'm going to we'll be right back. Welcome back to the program. You're still watching Nka on Afia TV. And of course, my name is Favor Obi Yagba. Big shout out to all the people that are watching behind the scenes that are, you know, making a fool of themselves. And now I still have, of course, Godo with me in the studio. And this is my favorite segment of Nka. I love this segment so much because, you know, we get to play a game, we get to know um, our guests on a, a lot more personal level. And of course, this segment is strictly for our games. If you are a touchy feely person, if you they feel, you know, yeah, if you're sensitive, it's just fun, it's just games, it's just banter. Please, please, disclaimer, don't carry it in your heart, yeah? Please, please, relax. So now, Mr. Godor, Mr. 6KG, the president of the 6KG family. The family or gang? Gang. Okay, president of the 6KG gang. I'm going to ask you some of this. Ooh, I think... Oh, I think I like this one. I like this one. So now, rate from best to worst these artists Hugo P, Aguero Banks, Max Wags, Jerick, and Quincy. So you either rate them or you take a gulp of all of them. My OG, Quincy, will okay. always come first. All right. My OG, Max Wags, okay. will come second. Okay. Then I'm giving it to Jerick. Okay. I go to banks mm -hmm. and I'll go pee. This is really funny because he wanted to collaborate with Aguero Banks and now he's coming <laughs> forth. Okay. Okay, no wahala. So wait right from best to worst these artists. Another one. Zoro, Il Bliss, Odumudu Black, and Fino. Fino, Ezege. <laughs> Ezege goes first. Okay. Il Bliss. Zoro. Then the more the black. Oh, the more the black is the worst on this list for you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I was thinking because of the more the black being the rave and the time, you know, everybody to their own. So now let's away from that. You can breathe now. Sure. So forget to that. <laughs> okay. So now let's play some fire questions. Best place to live in the east: Enugu or where? Enugu. Igusi or Onubo? Onubo. You're not number. You need the uh, Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Abacha or pizza? Abacha. Suit or traditional? As corporate or casual? Traditional. Clubbing or sleeping? I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> Calls or texts? Call me. <laughs> Older or younger women? Younger women. <laughs> so younger women. Light skin women or dark skin women? Light skin. Loyalty or respect? Respect. Chicken or goat meat? Goat meat. Chicken or turkey? Turkey. <laughs> Egusi or Obono? Obono. Fufu or Amala? Fufu. Moi Moi or Akara? Akara no bread. Fufu or buns? Buns. With egg inside. That's egg roll. <laughs> Fried rice or jollof fries? Jollof fries. Asun or unkwabi? Unkwabi. I really like your answers. I feel like sure. we're on the same frequency. <laughs> so now on a final, final note, you have um, 6kg, the song, yes. was, has, has been out since Oct um, October last year. Mm -hmm. And of course, they've received a lot of love. And it's one of the things that inspired you to even release your EP in December. What's your, the title of your EP is Lost... Locked in the Trap. Sorry, Locked in the Trap. Okay. So Locked in the Trap EP also came out in December. Do you have any new single this April? Do you have any new single, any new work that we should be expecting from you? Uh, I'm actually working on an EP. Okay, another one? Yes, with a Yoruba artist. Oh. So uh, I'm yet to put it out. Like. When should we expect that? Mm -hmm. My birthday is next month. Okay. So 
Probably next month. Happy birthday in advance. Thanks. <laughs> I know you said you, you have a single and that also has a visualizer on YouTube already. Yeah, What's that all of that my one? My single, I have like three, three or four videos on YouTube. Okay. What's the name of your YouTube channel? What did you post it on YouTube channel? Yeah, my YouTube channel. What's the name? God of 6kg. God of 6kg. No, God of 6kg. Okay, sorry. God of 6kg. God, yes, God of 4 then God of 6kg. God of, yes, true. God of 6kg. Yeah. So, you have videos out there. Yeah, so, yeah. yes, you should definitely go out and check God of 6kg on YouTube. I think it's also God of 6kg on Instagram. Yes. And God of 6kg on all your social media platforms, actually. My streaming platforms, it's only God of... So all the streaming platforms is God up or social media platforms, God of Six KG. So definitely go out, you know, check him out. He's an amazing artist. If you love the slow trap sound, the hip hop sound, is an artist that you should definitely look out to and just be part of his journey. It's really, really inspiring. Thank you so much for joining me on Anka. I'm really looking forward to hearing your feature with Aguero Banks and hearing your feature and just new music that you're bound to create. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, thanks. And of course, to you, our viewers, thank you so much for watching Anka this Thursday evening. Of course, Anka airs every weekday, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. only on Afia TV. Don't forget to follow us on our socials, Afia TV Official. My name is Favor Obinyeluba. Enjoy the rest of your night.